Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Today, uh, my name is DJ Red, and I'm the host of Life After Death. And um, we are on Digital Soapbox Network, so make sure you're a subscriber. Today is, is my fifth episode, and we got a hell of a, hell of a good subject today. Today, I got two guests. I have Gina Silva to my right, and I have Deanna Friedman to my, to my left. Hi. And say, um, so today's episode is strictly about women and especially we're going to talk about the song WAP um, and the subject matter for today is expressing your sexuality from a, as you know from a woman and what that really means expressing your sexuality so let's say hello to Gina and say hello to everybody Gina. Hello everybody hello hello thank you very much for having me here mm -hmm. I'm excited about this topic. Uh, me too. I'm I'm glad you're here, and and you look very good today. And and Diana, um, you know, say hello. Hi. I'm I'm actually excited to be a guest today. I'm usually a part of your live audience. Mm -hmm. I've been here in, since day one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, um, I just want to say one thing. I'm I'm gonna speak a little Portuguese. Okay. Você parece bem. Você parece bem. Obrigada. Um, de nada. And what that means is both you guys look beautiful. You guys look really good. So thank you um, for um, for coming today. Um, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, there's a new song by Cardi B, which I love as a grown man. But um, the name of the song is called WAP, W-A-P. And what that stands for, it stands for, excuse my language, I don't mean to be offensive. I don't mean to be offensive. But the name of the song is W-A-P, which means wet ass pussy. Mm -hmm. You know, so... What they're talking about is is they're expressing their sexuality. Mm -hmm. Me as a man, that's why I invited both of you guys to come to my show mm -hmm. because I want to know what ex when a woman says I'm ex I'm expressing my sexuality, I don't know what that means, you know. So I'm counting on you to educate me, Brian, you know, Elliot, everybody who will be watching, all men and young ladies. Mm -hmm. Because we want to empower, educate, and influence, of right? Course. So, um, first of all, um, have you heard the song? Yes, a few times. Mm -hmm. And the video mm -hmm. is even better. It's even better. <laughs> <laughs> the video is very, very explicit, very mm -hmm. sexual. Um, really, it's funny, kind of like a double standard, being a female, because the world has created this huge sexual industry and we're kind of not even invited to the party we're the stars of the show but they prefer us to be more seen and not heard mm -hmm. which is why i think people really like strippers because they're just dancing you don't really hear her talking you don't hear her asking for anything except for if you want to have a good time basically you just right so you know um we've created this huge sexual industry and yeah. then when you do have women who are like cardi and also make the stallion another explicit mm -hmm. lyricist um little kim right little kim um but just particular them two together yeah. in this song um people are making a big deal because they're just like ass and titties and it's in your face and talking about you know oral gratification a lot. People don't like hearing women say that kind of stuff, but they do love participating in it. They love those kind I of girls. I agree, I agree. They just don't want to really hear them bragging about it. I agree. Okay. Um, so have you, Gina, have you heard the song, Wet Ass song. Pussy? Have you heard yes, the song? Yes, I have. So, I give have. Me, so, you know, weigh in on that. Uh, well, I think they're two incredibly talented female artists. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. I think that the video was great, mm -hmm. and I think that... Um, you know, expressing your sex your sexuality um, is an individual thing, and and every woman should have the ability to be comfortable expressing what's comfortable for her. Mm -hmm. And what's comfortable for you, Gina? Well, this is where I dig into mm -hmm. the part about I'm Brazilian. I'm from Brazil, mm -hmm. and anywhere in the world where I am, and I somebody asks me where I'm from, and I say I'm from Brazil, especially if it's a male, their eyes light up. Mm -hmm. Stigmatized. Stigmatized. Uh -huh. Like we're some kind of like you know sexual creatures because mm -hmm. we invented the g-string and, but in, Fudge. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fudge. but in reality, um, Brazil has the biggest Catholic cop population in the world. These are very religious people, mm -hmm. yet they don't see the human body as something to be ashamed of. They don't view it as ugly or shameful or something you should hide. We did invent the G-string after all. Okay, but, okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go so, ahead. Um, 
children from from the as as early as they can remember these children shows that they have on during the day like here we have sesame street you know that kind of stuff well there it's usually a female um with an audience mm -hmm. and she's dressed very sexily but nobody's Nobody freaks out about it because that's 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 the norm. And that's how it is. You know, mm -hmm. beer commercials are women mm -hmm. running in slow motion down the beach, topless. And so when you grow up seeing these things on TV, on TV, regular mm -hmm. TV, like Channel Four, Channel Five. Yes, Rise. yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. So mm -hmm. I think that um, it kind of comes down to how you perceive how how you're raised to to perceive the human body like mm. boobs are literally functioning body organs they are. they're there they are. to nurture us as infants they're mm -hmm. body organs mm -hmm. but they've been sexualized over time mm. but in brazil um especially since they're more booty people <laughs> mm. <Beautiful. laughs> yes um they just they don't freak out about it and I, again these are very religious people they've mm -hmm. you know 52 saint holidays a year you know, and um, they take their religion very seriously, but mm -hmm. their the human body and sexuality and women being sexy is not something that's frowned upon or looked as ugly. And I, I totally agree. I totally agree. But uh, I want to I want to stop you on that, and we're gonna go further into that right there. I just want to know a little bit about your background, also. Okay. Diana, so tell us where you grew up. And well, where you born? That's really whatever. funny that you said. Mm -hmm. um, a, big huge religious background because see i'm from detroit and i swear some of like the best booty shakers you're gonna see them on sunday at church black people itself we love church and singing mm -hmm. and praising and all that other stuff but um black women a lot of us just exude sex just look like sex you know some of my friends were so developed at, as young girls 13 years old with double d's you know and people treat them like they're older because they're more developed i'm tall so older men always approach me just thinking i'm older because i'm taller i have my lipstick on i'm like no i'm really 15 i'm mm -hmm. just look long and my friend has big breasts but we're kids you know so but, that, that's always interesting. Well, it's it's um this song right here, Mia. Um, you know, you know, I'm a parent. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I got six I'm year a parent old twins. As well. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so um, this song for people who are extremely conservative. Mm -hmm. You know, this song is not meant for children. Right. It's you not. Know, but children have access to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, what I'm saying is they have access to it. These teenagers, these adolescents, mm -hmm. they have access to it because everybody has. A cell phone. Right. See, when I was a child, you know, Richard Pryor. Right. He's a comedian, you know. So his albums, his they came out in albums. Mm -hmm. And we would have to go to the living room, put it on there, you know, take moms and pops, you know, mm -hmm. album, put it and turn it down real low. See, now there was no social media at that time. So mm -hmm. now nowadays we got these teenagers, these high schoolers, these junior high kids, and the body image that that is um is being shown mm -hmm. you know for me as a grown man i'm gonna say i love the damn video you know mm -hmm. um actually sh she gonna be dressed up like that <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah so thank you for I'm that sorry. cardi you know <laughs> but um but the fact of the matter is 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 the image you know th these women got power man you women right are so damn powerful, right? And 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 you know, I, I wanna so see. using that power, using that power that you guys have of 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 the power of influence, especially these younger girls. Now again, I love the damn song. Mm -hmm. I love it. There's no, there's no doubt about it. But I won't let my children hear that song okay. because it's depicting something that a teenage girl who is in her developmental stages is saying, well. I got to get a big booty like that. My lips need to be done or I need to enhance my, and they're going to act beyond their years. You know, I'm just saying. Right. Very, very true. But what, here comes the double standard is exactly. that here, this song, want, people want to act like this broke the mold of disrespect and dis distasteful lyrics. I've been hearing horrifying shit since I was like, kid on the radio. Yeah. I'm talking about, 
uh, you know, it ain't no fun if the homie can't have none. And that's before the conservative I, people. Right. But yeah. before I even was engaging in sexual activities, I heard a man on the radio tell me it's not no fun if the homie can't have none. So by mm. 12, I'm already thinking, oh, I'm going to have to give it up to him and his friend or I'm going to have to bring one for his friend. Mm. So as far as influence and access, it has kind of always been there. Mm. It's just now, like you said, in your face, in your hand. It you is. know, some of like the worst stuff I ever heard was right at school just in the bathroom like you did what what mm -hmm. happened who did what yeah. is at school yeah. you know so now that kids have this whole thing right here in their phone access mm -hmm. to it even if you're monitoring their followers you don't even have to be following this stuff their kids just they just see it so i totally understand that but if if we keep on making a big deal about what little girls see we have to make a big deal about what little boys see too exactly we have it's, to. it's it's about the little boys too because right. they're gonna have to get acceptance from their friends and when i was growing up you know some some of the you know in elementary and junior right. high school some people some of the, my classmates were more developed than others right you know in, in order in order to be cool they had to do certain things now you um what is your thoughts as the influence that the power of Cardi B love you and Megan the Stallion love you too. The power that they can have. Now, I don't fault them for that song because Luke did it in, in the 80s, mm -hmm. you know. And there's a song that um that was written in the 1920s, and her name was Lucille Bogan, and she wrote a song called. Song about. She be fucking all night. Yes, yeah. Yeah. and she talking about talking fucking about all, all, night all night long. Night long. You know, mm -hmm. um, eating coochie and and mm -hmm. and. Same thing that Megan the Stallion was talking about, you right. know. Um, and and no, I'm not a bottom feeder, um, mm -hmm. you know, because she said that in the song. But nothing wrong with bottom. Yeah, feeder. but <laughs> Lucille Bogan wrote this is the 1920s right here, and she had the exact same song, but it was with a banjo. So, you know, I'm gonna throw it to you now. Well, I think there's two parts to it. I think one, um, parents can monitor their kids' mm -hmm. um, devices. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think a 10-year-old needs an iPhone with internet access on it. I understand a parent wanting to for them to have a phone to call for emergencies, mm -hmm. but they don't need the internet on it. Well, this is now, their friend, now their friend has one that has internet on it, and it's going to show it to them, right? Mm -hmm. So you can only do what you can do as a parent. Mm -hmm. Do your best. But what really it comes down to is parenting. Right. Having the conversations with your children. A lot of these conservative people, they're so afraid mm -hmm. to talk about the subject of sex. Remember Nipplegate? Remember when mm -hmm. Janet Jackson mm -hmm. had the soup? Mm -hmm. It was like, you, you people were melting right. furious oh, over yeah. that. But, but as a parent, and me, I'm a, I'm a parent. I'm a single parent. I'm mm -hmm. raising a, a boy. He's going to be 10 years old. And he mm -hmm. is already very mannish. I'm, mm -hmm. I've already had to go up to the school. He mm -hmm. didn't fought boys about girls already. And he mm -hmm. was only in third grade while mm -hmm. this was happening. So um, I can only control what I can control at my home. Mm -hmm. But then he goes to dad's house. And little boys are encouraged to look at Cardi. You don't want your daughter anywhere near Cardi in this video, you know? But it's, it's not age appropriate. Right. And no, of course yeah. it's not age appropriate. And you, oh. you brought up your niece and stuff like that. Of mm -hmm. course, you don't want them anywhere near it. But as I'm a mother raising a boy, people are more encouraging of my son seeing stuff like that. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, well, don't discourage him just right. in case. They want to make him. So much more of a man faster. It's a double standard, you know, and yeah. I, 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 I totally agree because um, a discussion I had with some friends the other day, you know, it's if 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 I go into that apartment building and I go bed every woman in that apartment building, my my buddy's gonna look at me as a superstar, as a stud, as a playboy, as a stud, you right. know, as, as as you know. Mm -hmm. But if you you Deanna or you Gina go inside the apartment building and oh. do every guy in that building, they're gonna look at you as as is oh my goodness, mm -hmm. you know what is you know what what the hell are they talking about? See, I told you, I, see, I told you, but it's it's um, I think that with the responsibility that I have now, you know, because you know I spent 17 years in the penitentiary, mm -hmm. and I'm trying and um I'm an advocate for that positive change, mm -hmm. right? So I I try to use my platforms to influence and say, see, where I was. Right. And where I'm at now, you know. So, um, me personally, this is my personal opinion, is that they have every right to 
to, to make their music. Mm -hmm. And the people have every right to complain or rejoice about their music, right? Because I'm, 